and welcome back to the Tracer again. So today I would like to follow up my five hates or dislikes with five things that I very much enjoy about this motorcycle. Sports. And by the way, disclaimer, disclaimer alert. My five likes and previously five dislikes are merely opinions of mine. They are not complaints and I am not trying to deter anybody from buying. I think this motorcycle is fantastic. They are just things that had I been in charge of engineering or whatever it happened to have been, I might have changed slightly. But not a single one of them is disliked enough for me to consider not having bought this motorcycle. So let's get started. Number one, I think if you've watched a couple of my videos already, you know what's coming. Let's give a little space so that we can show off number one. That exhaust, ugh. I still just cannot get over the sound of this thing. In fact, here's more, have a listen. has to be how nimble this thing is for being quite tall it's really quite nimble the nimbility created a word there the nimbility is quite impressive on this thing it's relatively heavy I think it's the same weight as the R1 but with it being a lot taller you would think not so easy to throw about, center of gravity, etc, etc, but it really, really is just... Kind of just throw it into a corner and pop out the other end, away you go. Foggy day on the coast. It's wet outside, which means that he's going to be flicking spray onto my bike, which means that my bike is going to be dirty, which displeases me greatly. That's it, get out. Before I go on to number three, I would just like to point out that although I created the word nimbility, I think agility probably fitted better, but that's just because it's early in the morning and I'm still asleep, so forgive me. Plus I'm a bit stupid anyway, but that's despite the fact. So yes, number three, the engine bars. These engine bars are fantastic for I'm not too sure if you can see, but oh, apparently this Navara in front of us is a hustler. Must not be an effective one. If I was a hustler, I wouldn't get a Navara. I'd have like a fluorescent yellow Lamborghini. And I wouldn't have a registration plate saying hustler whenever it's spelled incorrectly. Maybe that's how the cool kids spell it. H-U-S-S-L-R. Hustler. Somebody's been spilling all of their oil and fuel on the road here. So yeah, sorry, back to number three, the engine bars. One, protection, gonna provide heaps because they stick out so much. But the thing that I've found even better than that is comfort. They provide another level of comfort on this thing because I'm able to stick my legs. If I really want, I can stick my legs straight out on them. Oh, hey Goose. I can stick my legs straight out on them, both legs. Or my personal favorite, you get that, I don't know if you can see in that one. Get the knee up and I can just kind of chill like this. This is great for highway riding. Bring the other leg up here. Rest my throttle arm, or throttle elbow on my knee, just chilling, just chilling along, cruising, god damn it. Number 
four and five. I'm gonna wait until I find somewhere to park because I need to walk around. Oh my god, it's so dirty. So yes, number four on the list has to be the overall form factor and aesthetics of this thing. It just looks absolutely superb. I love this look from the back tapering out to the handlebars. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, also, I've just decided that this isn't the five things I like. I'm just going to keep going until I run out because there's quite a lot. So number five has to be the LED lights. As you can see, there's two strips here, two LED strips. I don't know if you can see the them turned on, but the indicators and the tail lights, or tail indicators, they actually act as daylight, daytime running lights. That one's kind of broken and indicators, so obviously it's in there. <coughs> Which is really, really cool. Just that extra bit of lighting whenever you're riding around. These tail indicators actually act as a brake light as well as the middle there, which is kind of cool. The headlight is LED as well. I'm hoping not blinding you guys, but I cannot express in words how bright. I don't like motorbikes when they only have the one headlight on, but that is so bright. That, that one light for dipped beam is almost brighter than the R1's dual HIDs that I've got, and they are damn bright. Oh, whilst I remember, I mentioned the daytime running indicators slash lights. They are, uh, the ones on mine are an added extra, like our uh, aftermarket. A friend of mine back in the UK has a Tracer, and he actually mentioned that for an extra price, when ordering from Yamaha, you can get them. I mean, you can get them as standard. I think it's like a hundred pounds, so like two hundred Australian dollars, something like that. And get you the daytime running lights just as standard on the bike, which is really, really cool. Number five, I think. This triple engine is just fantastic. If you watch my first ride video, which I encourage you to, then you'll notice I mentioned how smooth it is. Anyway, it's very, very smooth. Where you just... You rip the throttle on, away it goes. But also when you're just doing low speeds, like I can do 60... Let's go down to 60 kilometers an hour. Is that about four, 38 miles an hour or something? Sixth gear, top gear, happy days, just chilling. The R1 can never do this. Well, I can, it's just not very comfortable. But this thing doesn't care. Roll the throttle on here gradually builds and builds really really good number six the flames from the exhaust ah oh! oh yes I don't know if you noticed in the little exhaust clip I put on but just even if you did I'm gonna put this next clip up just because I love it my own added extra. If you watch the reveal video for the tracer you'll hear it there. I'm gonna I'm going to blurt it but or toot it. I'm gonna toot my horn. I'm gonna toot my own horn. God that's hits home too much. But not whilst this guy's in front of me I don't want to seem like a complete nutter knob. Just like a mild knob. Okay ready here, ready here, ready here. <laughs> Air horn. Today it damn well better. Ah, oh, damn it. Today it damn well better brighten up. Ah, oh, nutbag. He's gonna be in front of me now. Ah. Oh. Oh. So I've given you seven likes. 
but it's gotten to the point now where it's been so wet out here and this is so dirty that I have to go home and wash it. So I'm gonna check out now. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more. And for now, bye-bye.